get downhill whenever she wants. Here we go from Cameron Indoor, the Duke Blue Devils trying to bounce back after an ACC loss, early conference matchup against the Clemson Tigers on Thursday. Picks up her dribble, needs some help. She gets it in the form of Jefferson who has her shot blocked. Duke Blue Devils do that very well. And then in transition, Taina Mayer is fouled. Chance for the three-point play. Jaden was coming in for the block, but able to execute in transition. That's what Carol Lawson really wants out of this group. Downhill, getting easy touches and easy layups in the paint early in this game. And that's how you do it. And the answer on the other end from Antonucci. This program, nobody knows this system better than Maddie Antonucci. Ten on the shot clock now. Jefferson calling for it. Four points in the game for the Memphis transfer. Drive, make it six. Three on the shot clock now. Antonucci delivers. That was a great possession. Not getting out of control. About it, able to get, have the composure. Nice penetrate and kick right there. How quickly can these new players acclimate to the players around them and the new system that they're in? Yeah, for sure. I think the hardest thing as there gets a look right there inside the paint. You just mentioned it. <laughs> a nice pickup and a nice transfer bucket right there. Has been good to Duke as well as she was able to get the high low. That's a great action there. It's hard to help off when you're doing a high low right in the middle of the floor. Ascended quickly in terms of the rankings. Coming out of high school went from unranked to number 27 of the course of spring and summer of 2022. This is second free throw, but you trade the one for three. Six to shoot. Dump off not happening. Steal taken away by Okanawa. She'll drive to the basket and get a chance for one more. Up energy for that Duke freshman. She could have had the dump off, but she's like, nah, I'll take this one. Yeah, she feels pretty good about it. 14 points in the game for Antonucci. Drive on the other end, and a little emotion after the fact for Ashley Jackson. Go back to their offense. Look at there, the nice hezzy move, in and out move, and able to get the float. Man, I really like the way Florida Gulf Coast is attacking offensively. If they don't get it in the first possession, they try again, come into the paint, get some nice backdoor looks. Kanwa, put three! Play a part in this one, Oluchi Okanawa. Yeah, you see Richardson on the, on the bench, Jaden Donovan on the bench, Kennedy Brown on the bench. So the starters here in the second half looking a little bit different. Six on the shot clock now. Jefferson will drive it herself, has it blocked by Delaney Thomas. Blue Devils on the run, count it! Out in the third quarter and taking the largest lead of the game, turn a little defense into offense. This is what you want to see if you're a dude. Starts with an E. Jefferson had to go up and over three Blue Devils there. Couldn't do it. And then Duke, that's how you're on the floor. Yeah, that was a uh, bulk of Florida Gulf Coast points came from the free throw line in the first half. Good block there from Azudu. She'll take the three and hit it. Tricky how to be able to balance when to get the team involved and when to take your shot. So able to balance there. That's a nice cut there. Azudu looking inside. There it is again. That is twice in a row Duke has been beaten in the same spot. That's exactly what I was looking for. Maybe that'll fuel some offense for Florida Gulf Coast going into this fourth quarter. Yeah, and finally Antonucci sees the basketball and she gets some points. 19 of the game for Antonucci. Okanwa takes it right back for Duke. The basketball saw Okanawa in the right hand corner pocket able. Well, Duke is really forcing them to play outside of their comfort zone as Reagan Richardson gets the last night set there from Mayor. Having a big game, looking inside for Brown. That's an easy two. And Reagan Richardson really set that up. And get some three-point makes if they want to win this one. Mayor lines it up from three. All right here at ACCN and the ESPN app. That's a dime right there. I love that play. You can see she's in a boot. She's still on the 
almost jumping out of her chair when she sees plays like that. You know, I love a nice basket or a nice crossover, but a pass as Imani Jefferson gets one to go from beyond the arc. Karen stishes it off for Baez. And you see here Jaden Donovan back in the basketball game. Kara Lawson probably hoping to have a little rhythm for her going to the next matchup. Good look inside, top to good patience for the Eagles. Have a tell of two halves, really, and their patience went out the window here in that third quarter, which really led to Duke getting that lead. We'll win this one easily, 82-63, our final from Cameron Indoor. Yeah, really good outing for Duke. I know they have to be happy with a comeback.